This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Now, last time we talked, <laughs> Tiafimo and uh, Vasil Lomachenko. And that's, what is that? Next Friday. Next, next, Saturday. next, next Saturday. So that's coming up. Uh, seeing, you know, T.O. in camp. I know you got a, a friend that's in camp with him. Yeah. Ray Savage. Yeah. Has your prediction changed? No. You Only. still, it's still going to be a landslide? Yeah. Nobody ain't be a Roma team bro. But he's already Everybody lost. Everybody got a, that was, how many years ago? It's, it's been a minute. Everybody, only thing they're going to have against him going into the fight is a puncher's chance. Because other than that, there's nothing you can do with him. He can punch too, so it's nothing you can do with that man. Will it be competitive? Probably for like the first three, four rounds until he starts standing in front of him and side to side and doing and using his feet how he uses his feet. And Tiafimo never seen that in front of him before he won't start breathing. Do you feel like he'll lose more because of mental rather than like yeah, oh, okay. mental? He he's still real young. He's like. 20, 21, something like that. He's still real young, and that's what that's what Lomachenko do to everybody. He bring him down mentally. He don't really have to bring him down. He bring him down mentally, and that's that's what I feel gonna happen. I feel like he gonna sit on a stool and tell his dad no, just like everybody else. Do you feel like they're rushing this Lomachenko fight? Should they avoid it? Nah, uh, I feel like he a world champion. If you want to clean the division, then go get him to clean the division. I don't think he's ready though. I don't think he's ready, but he a world champion. And that's what world champion is doing. You're a Philly guy. Another Philly guy has um, a world champion, a world championship bout in November. Yeah. Danny Garcia versus Errol Spence. Yeah. <laughs> How you see that fight going? I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. I don't think Spence is gonna take them shots for 12 rounds. I'm rocking with Philly. Simple as that. Why? Well, Spence, first of all, like everybody else knows, Spence, there's no way he coming back the same Spence he was. There's no way. I don't, I don't believe it. He's going to have to show me. And Danny Garcia definitely could punch. And he got great timing. It just all depends on what Danny Garcia come out that night. If he's going to sit back and let uh, Spence control the pace, then that's, it's not going to go his way. But I, don't, I think he I think he uh, getting hungry. He got them losses. Everybody sleeping on him. So hopefully that hunger come out in that fight, man. He do what he got to do. And I'm rocking with Philly though. Now, according to reports, he just started sparring for the first time since the accident last week. Yep. Is like how much will Russ play a role? Because he hasn't been in the ring for over a year. Uh, I don't know how much Russ will play a role because, like you know, uh, boxing is 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 ninety ninety five percent mental. So it just all depends on how his mental play. Um. Word is Deontay Wilder parted raised with Mark Breland. Mm -hmm. Do you see him coming in to the fight as a different Deontay Wilder, a better Deontay Wilder? No, I don't. Wow. No, what are you gonna change? He already, he's already Deontay Wilder, and he used to doing what he what he been doing, just punching dudes and knocking them out. So just because he left, he switched trainers down, and one camp that don't mean nothing gonna change. Do you still see it being the same outcome as the second fight? Yeah, I feel like Fury, the best heavyweight in the world. So uh, he, he a different, he a different breed. If you were Deontay Wilder, what adjustments would you make? You gotta learn how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You gotta learn how to fight. He start one million and just used to knocking these dudes out. Why do you feel like he's had so much success doing it? Cause he hit hard, and once he hit them dudes, he can hit them anywhere, and they just go to sleep. That power is different. But you know, once a bigger guy, a big guy come in, a guy that can box, a guy that can fight on the inside, you know how to smother your shots and do everything else, and he's not scared of you and not scared of your power, everything changed. Do you think Wilder's style would work at the lower weight classes, or do you think specifically heavyweight? Nah, that wouldn't work in the lower classes. Cause the lower classes, you really see 
more boxers and things like that. And the, and the heavyweight class, they really just punchers, to be honest. That's why I like watching heavyweight, because, you know, they say one punch could change the fight in the heavyweight division. If you blank, the fight really could be over that fast. So, I don't think it would work in the smaller classes, because them dudes know how to move around and things like that. Especially him moving down, he had to lose that weight. Because they, they were talking about that new that new division, uh, like, I guess, 225 and under? Yeah. I don't know. 225 is still heavyweight, if you ask me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think nothing's going to change. All right, Shane. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Right, Good appreciate luck on your fight. Yes, sir. Thank you.